great minds think alike, I guess. So I just got done watching the new Demolition Ranch video with a Golden Barrett 50 cal. Yeah, and about halfway through that video, he started shooting paint onto canvases. And I was just like, you've got to be kidding me. Welcome back to Whisper Tactical, guys. My name's John, and today I want to show you guys what I did a couple of weeks ago. Guys, before we get into this video, I'd appreciate it if you go ahead and like, subscribe, share, comment down below, and hit that bell icon so you can be notified whenever I upload new content. This is what I actually want to start doing. I was going to do a series on this and kind of like do a video a week of different guns shooting paint and making awesome art. And I want to talk about this really quick so you can actually watch the footage of me shooting this paint and doing all this. It was so fun. But ultimately, what I did when Jay JT passed away, his grandmother was his next of kin, that's all, all he had, and uh, she was left with his bills, everything, had to pay for everything. She's having to sell his truck, his guns, everything to get the money to pay for his stuff. So I wanted to figure out a way to help her, and I was going to do this. I made these two canvases, I made this one, I made this one, and I did this the day I made my Glock 43X video. So if you go back and watch the Glock 43X with the 12 round magazines, and you'll notice that table was covered in paint. It's caused directly before I made that video, I did this. But these ones were at a later date, about a week ago. But ultimately, this was the special one. It's a wooden cutout of Kentucky. And I shot it with paint, and I, with, I shot paint, and it blew up all over it. I thought it was so cool. But what I wanted to do was auction this off to you guys as kind of like a fundraiser to help his grandmother with a little extra cash during her time of need. And uh, I wanted to make it a series and do it for you guys a lot. I did this with like a 45, and I tried it with a 10 mil, and, and uh, the SIG P320 AXG Scorpion. I wanted to make it a series, and but honestly, I was afraid to upload the videos because I didn't want you all to think that I was begging you for your money, which is why I won't open a Patreon. Guys, I don't want your money. I just want you to support my channel and watch and, and comment and talk to me. I mean, that's it. You know, I, I, you work too hard for your money. But ultimately, I was afraid to upload the video because I didn't want you all to think that I was begging and not respect my channel anymore. What I wanted to do was auction off some art pretty much to you guys. If you wanted it, I was going to sign it. And I even bought Mod Podge to, to seal the canvases for you all. And, uh, you know, I was going to give the money to her to help her since he was my best friend. Ultimately, I'm going to hang this one up on the wall because this one means a lot to me and it's the beginning of the series. But yeah, I'll go ahead and give you all the footage now. I uh, hope you all enjoy it. Let me know if it's something that you like and I will start doing this like once a week and just uploading this footage. And once I get big enough, I'm just and have extra money to be able to ship stuff around. Like I'm going to make these videos and like sign the art and just ship it out to you guys. Maybe one day I'll be YouTube famous and it'll be something cool for you all to have. So yeah, let me get this out of the way and I will upload the video and let you guys see all of my art. Thank you all so much. If you don't want any part of like buying this stuff to to help his grandma in her time of need, that's fine, I understand. It, it, there's no obligation. I don't want you to think I'm begging you or anything like that. Just thank you all for watching. That's that's all the support I need from you all, really, is just like, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. I love the comments. It's, it's, it's fun, guys. Thank you all. Today, I am making this video because my best friend recently passed away, and uh, honestly, I, I want to make a couple of things for him the Marlin Dark Series 4570. Now, we bought these together. I bought the Dark Series 4570. He bought the Dark Series 3030. This is the gun of mine that he wanted more than anything. So I'm going to make some paintings while shooting this gun, and I'm going to sell them for a fundraiser for his grandmother to pay for his funeral and everything like that. So I want to see what I'm going to do here. Ooh, holy cow. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that uh, it's not really going to splatter. So, honestly, I'm not really sure how to do this at all. Four hundred and five grain subsonic. So, I'm hoping this does a little better. That really worked. Okay, so these were my trial and error. I think they've turned out pretty good. I'm gonna set these to the side. I'm definitely gonna go back to the harder hitting rounds to throw a little bit more out there. There's been a lot of people asking me how they can support the channel. This is the best way. All right, let's get this done. 
I love it. I love it. Red, white, and blue, red, white, and blue. I painted these with the gun that he wanted. Well, actually, I can't say that. He wanted my Palmetto State Armory AKE more than he wanted anything else. Guys, if you would like to be a part of this and help me, if you want these and you want to donate money for them, you can let me know in the comments below. Give me your email address. Obviously, we live in Kentucky. So, I got a big red, a big blue, and a couple of whites. 430 grains. I already got blue paint all over it. I don't care. It's for JT. Doesn't bother me none. Gun's a gun. Now let's go to the red. I'm gonna show you guys what I've done here. So here's, here was the two trial ones. Here was the two that I made, the red and the blue. And here's the Kentucky. This is a five foot long Kentucky thing. Red, white, and blue. I don't have that big of a channel and I know I probably don't matter to much of anybody, but I'm gonna sign these. I'm gonna hodgepodge them and I'm gonna sell these on my channel as a fundraiser to give to his grandmother. You have to understand, he wasn't even 30 years old. He lost his mother in a car wreck when he was little and he lived with his grandmother. They're appraising his gun collection and they're selling them to get money to help her, which is probably one of the hardest things she's ever gonna do because she knew how much he loved his guns. If you want to donate some money towards him for one of these, I'm gonna number them. One, two, three, four. I'll go by the comments, I'll go to the highest bidder. You give me your email address, I will email you, get your information, you can pay via PayPal, and I will ship it to you, and I will sign it on camera for you all because one day I may be YouTube famous, who knows? I know you all like that stuff from like Demo Ranch and Kentucky Blue and those guys so however you all want to do it I'll, I'll, I'll do it this will this will be number one and uh, those will be number two and three and, and I'll list them so if you think you're like oh man I want number one I'll give you $18 for it and then someone else is like I want number one but I'll give you $50 for it whoever does number one the highest will get number one number two the highest get number two so on so forth that's the way I'll do it and I'll ship it to you guys we'll get emails I'll give you the PayPal link if you want to if you don't want to that's fine I'm sorry that I had to make a video like this but I just felt that it was necessary to do so so guys I appreciate it I wish you would go ahead and like subscribe share comment down below and hit that bell icon so you can be notified whenever I upload new content what's up guys well Welcome back to Whisper Tactical. My name is John. I love shooting guns, but I've always wanted to be artistic. I've always wanted to be an artist. I've always wanted to be able to create art. I look at the guns and I'm like, that's beautiful. That's art. To me, that's art. But I've always wanted to like take a canvas and some paint and just make something beautiful. And I can't do that with my hands. So I decided that I was going to try to do that with the 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum. <laughs> Dear God, I want to try to be an artist, but do my painting with the 500 Magnum. So before we get into this video, guys, go ahead and like, subscribe, share, comment down below, and hit that bell icon so you can be notified whenever I upload new content. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two canvases, and I'm just going to kind of set them on the table. I'm going to put one here. I'm going to put one here. I've got a yellow and a purple. I've got a blue and an orange. So what I'm going to do first, we'll take the orange and put it in the front. And then we'll take the blue and we'll put it directly behind the orange. And we'll take the canvases and we'll smash them right in the middle, just like so. Canvas, canvas, orange, blue. And I'm gonna shoot this right here and get the blue orange splatter. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the canvases and I'm just gonna spin them like that. And I'm gonna do the yellow and the purple and get a blue orange splatter going this way and then get a yellow purple splatter going this way and i'm pretty excited to try this because if this works and it is really cool then i'm actually going to start doing these videos i think this would be fun to do like a little artistic series like get this gun and this bullet and like see what kind of art that combination would make you know what i mean like i don't know we'll see i guess this is pretty much kind of like the 500 magnum critical duty so Anyways, let me go ahead and break this little gun down here. Such a tiny gun. And let's see how this works. So remember, we've got the orange in the front and the blue in the back. Ow! Ow! 
I totally wasn't ready. That's super cool. It, it ripped the canvases. So uh, I'm, my gun's covered in paint. As you can see, I've got beautiful orange paint all over my gun now. I don't know if you could see it, but you know, is what it is. It's beautiful. Flip them the other way. We'll put the purple and the yellow. Now let me set the yellow a little further back than the purple. That way they don't go together as much. You know what? Let's just go ahead and use the Hornady 500 grain soft point. We won't do a hollow point this time. That one was devastating. I think that's really cool. With a less potent round, that would have probably made something extremely pretty. I hit it right, you know, let's see if we can get this second shot the way it needs to be. Ow! Oh, that's not fun. <laughs> it sucks. Ah. The 500 Magnum is just too potent. I mean, it's just too powerful. Look, just the pressure, just the foot pounds of energy blew the whole inside of that canvas out. I mean, it's beautiful. I mean, that's beautiful. I love that, you know what I mean? But just the energy, just the energy transfer, it ripped the entire canvas. It cracked the wood on this one too. Look at the inside there. It cracked that wood. But this one, I like this one. Check this out. There's not much purple on it, but it did get some some purple splatter in there. But guys, that's awesome. I love that. Like I said, with the less potent round, this would have worked a lot better. So I'm gonna go get a less potent round and we'll try it again. I'm gonna try this again, but we're gonna do it with the HK Mark 23 and I'm loaded up with some Federal HST. Black, green, orange, and pink. Let's do the black and the pink first. Let's do the black first. We'll just do it like this. Let's spin it. Let's go pink. Ah, beautiful. Let's go orange. Let's go green. Oh, I missed it. I'm wasting hollow points. Ah, that needs a yellow. <laughs> Perfect. Guys, that's so cool. I love it. I'm gonna start doing this. We got pink, black, yellow, green. What needs to go over that yellow? Something's gotta go over the yellow. We'll just do a blue and purple combo right here. Pow, pow. Oh, I missed him. Everyone's like, this son of a bitch. He's out here wasting ammo. Ah! Well, Wait, I hit the blue. <sighs> yeah. I'm out of 45 hollow points, so. Guys, this is really cool. Like, that's, that is, that is art to me. I love this. So right here, look at this. Bro, that straight up right there reminds me of the 80s, early 90s. I was a baby in the 80s, but I still remember, like I remember being one and two years old and remember like the women with the long hair and it would be a ponytail sideways with like some crazy neon spandexes on. Like I remember those times and then everything changed. Everything went to hell. I don't know. Everybody started getting offended and crybabies. Everybody turned into crybabies, man. Guys, tell me what you think about this. Is this cool? Like, do you want to see me do this? I'm going to try. I'm going to do another one. I'm going to do a couple of these videos today. I'm going to do one with a 9mm. But yeah, what do you think about that? That's the 45 ACP. I think that's really cool. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Whisper Tactical. My name's John, and today I'm going to do another painting video. Today I'm going to use a bigger canvas. I'm going to use bright, vivid purple, bright, vivid yellow, bright, vivid orange, bright, vivid green, and bright, vivid blue. Uh, that's what it says, vivid. Those are the colors, so that's what I'm saying. I've got five colors, and today I'm going to be painting with the P320 AXG Scorpion paintbrush. It's going to be so fun. I cannot wait to do this. This is, I love doing this guys. I hope you enjoy this because I really want this to stick. Just once a week, do a fun little painting video. I hope you like it. Uh, if you don't like it, just tell me and I won't do it, but I hope you do. Ah. Uh. Did I take it over? What happened? I guess I'm gonna have to use hollow points, guys. That bullet went straight through it and didn't do nothing. <sighs> I 
Maybe I can give it a little assist. Let's go from this side, let's go green. The bullet tumbled, went through the paint jug. The bullet tumbled, went out the paint, and went through the canvas. That's all right, gives it character. Ah, yeah guys, I guess I'm gonna have to use hollow points. <laughs> ah. Let me go grab a couple hollow points. Oh, much better, much better. Let's load another critical duty in there and put the yellow on here, guys. Now this one is definitely an 80s picture. Definitely an 80s themed. Oh, beautiful. So beautiful. Now you got green balls. <laughs> oh, guys, if this isn't the 1980s, I don't know what is. This is beautiful. This is my favorite one. But I've learned I've got to use hollow points for this. That's really cool. That's really cool. Really, really cool. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the quick little painting video with the P320 AXG Scorpion. I know I have fun making these videos for you guys, so that's pretty much it. Guys, I hope you all enjoy the video. If you like the painting stuff and you want to see me, like see how some stuff works, if you want to see any special colors or anything like that, painting with them, or what guns will do what to what, you want me to shoot one with an AK or something, try to get it figured out. I'm going to build a contraption that kind of holds the bottle of paint and I can shoot it from hanging down from a string and put a canvas here and a canvas here and it'll blow the paint onto the canvases. I will make this better. Just let me know if this is something that would be pretty cool if I actually made this to where I was able to actually paint paint canvases, like stood them up on canvas stands and uh, made like a little, kind of like you ever played Hangman, where you make the little Hangman noose and kind of hang a bottle of paint from it and then put a canvas here and a canvas here and shoot in between the canvases, but it would blow the paint on. Does that make sense? I really enjoy this, guys. I hope you like this. Remember, like, subscribe, share, comment down below, and hit that bell icon so you can be notified whenever I upload new content. And until next time, I love you guys. Y'all stay safe.